What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to talk about something that I picked up back in August of 2013. And you already know what it is. I haven't got the chance to talk about it until now. And that is Helter Skelter by Kyoko Okazaki. Uh, this is the first of two of her works that are currently in print in English. Um, the other being Pink, which I also happen to review. So if you want to check that out, you can. So yeah, Helter Skelter is one of the last things that Kyoko Okazaki was able to write before her car crash in 1996, which incapacitated her both physically and mentally. But she's been on a slow road to recovery ever since, so who knows, maybe she'll come back someday and write something interesting. So yeah, if you don't know anything about Kyoko Okazaki, she is probably the most important person in Jose Maga or women's comics. Um, if I remember correctly, she pretty much started that whole thing. But yeah. Helter Skelter is a story that revolves around a girl named Liliko, who is one of the most beautiful and famous people in Japan at the time. And it focuses around her and the people she interacts with, including her mother and the people she works closely with and there's also a subplot involving the police trying to find a link between stolen organs and plastic surgeries. Uh, speaking of plastic surgeries, the reason that Liliko is so beautiful is because she is almost 100% fake. And that's not a spoiler or anything, I think that's in the first chapter, but yeah. And because of that, she is pretty much insane because of all of her beauty and power and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much the story of Helter Skelter uh, to give you the basic idea uh, about a super famous person and how insane they are. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, it is ages 18 and plus and it well deserves that rating because there's a lot of sex and violence and nudity and out drugs and stuff like that in this book. But yeah, it's really interesting. The themes in this book focus around um, how fame can really affect somebody and go to their head and make them crazy. And how beauty is fleeting and only a temporary thing and that kind of stuff. So yeah, it, it makes for a pretty interesting read. Um, now that I've said stuff about the story and the themes of this book, we go ahead and take, talk about the art. As you can see, that's the cover there, and this is taken from another page in the manga, but yeah. Hopefully you don't come across anything lewd. But yeah, as you can see, the art here is not uh, what you typically see in a lot of anime and manga. It's very cartoony and pretty unique in that sense and I really love the art style of Kyoko Ogizaki's stuff. Uh, to me that is a high point for her work which is also yeah it's it's in the rest of her work like pink as well but yeah I think it flows nice and it's uh, nice to look at and it's unique. Alright, and I suppose that's about it that I have to say about the book, so I'm going to say the people that are going to like this book are those who are comic and manga connoisseurs and don't mind reading something weird or different, but it's not too weird that it's impenetrable, it's just different from most of the manga that I've read. But yeah, I totally recommend that for those kind of people who are willing to try new things and cool things. And I definitely recommend this book. So if you're even marginally interested in this book, I highly recommend it. Um, also, this book um, has been adapted into a movie. So if you're the kind of person that maybe would want to watch the movie and then read the manga, that option is there too, if you can get a hold of the movie. But yeah, in comparison to Helter Skelter and Pink, her other book... Um, I actually like Pink a little bit more. Uh, the only problem I really had with Helter Skelter was that 
I think the author intended to write a little bit more in this book, but she didn't get to. But yeah, I mean, with that said, uh, I definitely recommend it. All right, guys, that's about it from our review of Helter Skelter by Kyoko Ogazaki. A uh, really interesting book. Like I said about five times already, I recommend it. So, yeah, um, that's it for this video. Be sure to leave a comment because that's how I know you guys actually watch these things. And uh, let's have a fun conversation in the comments while you're at it. Because I always enjoy that. And, yeah, I got lots of reviews coming up, both comic books and manga. And I hope to see you guys again real soon.